All right, folks, so first things first, we're gonna pull our <coughs> regulator out, which we preemptively started this. So you're gonna take this regulator out. You're not gonna reuse these bolts that hold it in. You're gonna grab some, it's gonna come, the kit comes with new, new hardware. You wanna make sure that you don't get any debris into your CP4. So don't wipe, just use this to soak up the fuel that comes out. Which there's gonna be some fuel that comes out. Perfectly normal. Just make sure you don't knock any debris down into your down into your CP4. That goes right down in there. I'm gonna get this hooked up and then I'll show you guys how this is all mounted together. Okay, in your package it comes with a blue O-ring. This funky looking one if you want to call it that with these fins all the way around it basically <clears throat> and then a black o-ring you'll put that on your sns kit and then this piece goes right on the other side of that and you'll take and you'll put this whole kit down in here down into the valley just like so just like that and then you'll grab your allen new allen head bolt and i know it's i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished up because it's kind of difficult for me to do this I just lightly start the one side now the other side's kind of a little pain to get to but you can get it in there of course drop it in there you'll feel it go in Just finger, you know, those are little bolts. So probably if you really, if you need a torque wrench, I'm sure it's only like right around eight to 10 foot pounds. That's it. Plug your regulator back in. So I'm call it the M prop, whatever, it's the regulator. And then now we will get to putting our fuel filter back in and hooking that all up. We're gonna take and mount this filter. This gotta be on the top side where the SNS part is at, just so you know. So on the 17 to 19s, you'll pop the cowl loose just like this. Can you see where that bolt's at right there? You use this spacer in between the two. And this can be a little tricky, I'm sure. So I'm gonna slide this like that. And then go like that. And push it down through there. This is the lock nut on the other side. Okay. I need a 10 millimeter if you don't mind. Okay. We got this set up as well before. Oh, Jesus. Make sure this guy's nice and snug, okay? Okay. Now, we'll spin that filter on right there. And then grab the stock filter and put it back in. And then hook up all the lines real quick. Okay, always take and lubricate your filters before you thread them on. Now the reason SNS swapped to this spin-on filter is because they were having a very difficult time getting those clear ones. Okay. You know that gets goes bye bye completely. Okay, bye. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. This is your injector return line right here, guys. On 11 to 16s, they don't have this. Yeah. This is on the inside, that's tank side. Return the tank. Mm -hmm. So that so goes to be... there. That goes to this right here. Yep. <sighs> These lines are a hard plastic, almost. So they're a pain in the butt to get to. Or to get orientated properly. This one's gonna go with this fitting. We're gonna go right into here. This goes back to your tank. So the tank one goes on this side. Slide it in, lock it. And you wanna make sure that it's not kinking. Now you can take and twist this line, it's just a pain in the butt to twist it. There we go, so that's not kinking at all, it's good. And then this one is gonna go from your rail up to the other side. Lock that in. Lock that in. And she's installed. So it's pretty straightforward. Then there's some zip ties and whatnot to make it look all pretty. This side is the return to tank. The way you know that is off of your return line right down here, unplug that. That fitting that they send with plugs into here, goes from there back to the tank, comes out of the engine into here, basically. That's what it's designed to do. Um, and then this is where it tees off for the supply to the injectors as well. So. There you go. Now we're just going to take and zip tie this down into here, make it look nice and pretty out of the way of the hot side pipe from the turbo. Because it's nothing crazy, but it is one of the best things you can put on any 6.7 Power Stroke. One of the most important upgrades. When folks call and talk to me about their 6.7 Power Stroke, this is the first thing I tell them to do. So give us a call if you've got any questions about the kit. 1-800-577-2698 or check it out on blessedperformance.com.